Greetings and welcome to the basement. This is going to be a quick focused video on dealing with the mouse cursor. This scenario is one that you may have encountered. You have your main menu built. You go into your level. You test your brilliantly designed and truly engaging visual spectacle of a level. You complete it, you return back to the main menu, and where the heck is my mouse cursor? Mouse? Mouse, where'd you go? And you can't do anything. If you if I hit escape, okay, I, I guess, no. No, okay. Uh, maybe it's just a bug with level one. Let's verify that. So we hit the play button again, and we go into level two with yet even more stuff. Stunning gameplay um, and phenomenally well-designed visual spectacle of a level. We complete it, and yeah, no, everything still borked. Yeah, no. Now, there's two things that's happening here, and it's important to understand both of them. The first thing is, why does escape hitting escape give me a mouse cursor that doesn't do anything except allow me to stop the editor? And I think to best illustrate that, I am going to go to a build that I have made of this and show what happens when you run the build. So here we go. Here's our main menu. I have my cursor and I select level one. <clears throat> Business as usual. I complete my level and I come back and no mouse cursor. And you probably can't. I don't know if you could hear me hammering my poor escape key. I'm sorry, escape key. I didn't mean it. But yeah, no mouse cursor. No mouse cursor is coming up. I'm going to have to Alt F4 out of there to get out of that. So what is happening, at least with the escape key, is the Unity editor recognizes that if I am in a first person, you know, if I'm testing this level, there's a good chance that I might want to get the mouse cursor back so I can check on something. So maybe I want to, you know, pause execution and come over here and fiddle with things in the hierarchy, yada, 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 and then come back and resume gameplay. That's what the escape key is doing in the editor. That is specifically bound to the editor window that says, hey, if the escape key gets hit and the cursor has been locked and or turned invisible, unlock the cursor make it visible again so that way the designer can interact with the unity editor but of course the moment you click into the scene view here into the game window it's like oh okay well you're done using the editor all right we'll return the cursor back to how it was that's what's going on when you hit the escape key now why is this happening to begin with well, when you've got a scenario like a first-person character controller, you don't want to see the mouse, generally speaking. I mean, think about, you know, things like Doom or Call of Duty or, uh, I don't know, insert game here, Borderlands. Uh, when you're in the moment-to-moment -moment of gameplay and you're not interfacing with menus, there's no mouse cursor. You might have an aiming reticule and that's about it. And so what those games are doing under the hood is they're freezing the mouse cursor to the center of the window, at least if the developer's competent, that's what they do, and they're making the mouse cursor invisible. And that's exactly what happens if you are using Unity's default character controller, um, if you're one of my students and you're using the uh, FPS Walker Enhanced script, or pretty much just about any first-person perspective character controller is going to be doing this. They're going to lock the can they're going to lock the cursor, sorry, they're going to lock the cursor and they're going to turn it invisible. It's a really easy fix. All I got to do is use the cursor class. This is where we manipulate the cursor. This is also by the way where we can change what our cursor looks like dynamically. And so I'm going to set my cursor lock state to cursor lock mode none, saying that, yeah, I don't want the cursor locked to the center, nor do I want it locked to my window. I just release the mouse. And I also want to turn the cursor to be visible. So I'm setting the visible property to true. And 
with that change, which again is being called from start here, we're not going to see anything from the start because, I mean, we already had the mouse cursor visible here, right? Going to level two. Yay, I win. And there we go. Now I have a functional mouse cursor that will work between levels. And just to prove that, yes, this does in fact work in the build version. There we go. <clears throat> Load up level two, there it is in all its glory. Come back, yay, I still have my cursor and I can bounce back and forth between the levels. And that's it. That's all I have to say. Short, sweet, to the point. I'm sure the YouTube algorithm is going to hate this video, but what can you do? But if you didn't hate the video, then why don't you go ahead and give it a thumbs up down there. And if you thought this was relatively pointless, well, the dislike button is right next to it. Until next time.